Hello! Welcome to the first studio vlog of 2021. Um, it is, you know, already, well, two-thirds of the way through the month, <laughs> actually. Uh, more like just a week away from being the end of the month, but here I am making the first studio vlog anyway. But yeah, I thought that today, because it's Monday and I'm having my light in the mailbox day, as I usually do on Monday, that I would just kind of bring you guys along and show you what I do um, on my Mondays that I'm off from teaching, that I do all of my shop stuff. So um, my goal for today, I have 16 orders to pack, so that's going to be the first thing that I'm going to do. Um, and then I need to restock some Valentine's merchandise. I have this big bag of stickers, vinyl stickers, that I need to list in the shop. Some of them are already listed. Some of them I just need to, like, count and sort and make sure that they're sellable, I guess. Um, and then list them in the shop. I was going to show you guys the um, washi tape that I made and had um, listed on the shop back in December and I never, I showed it a little bit but I never really like featured it. But this one is the mail time. So it says happy mail, special delivery. By the way, I don't know if it'll focus on this or not. Still not going to focus, but right here, this little postmark, it says light in the mailbox 20 Tony, which was when I designed it. And yeah, but the design actually <clears throat> keeps going to here and it says mail time and then it repeats. So look at this little guy that says vroom. Isn't he cute? I love mail trucks here in the US, they're adorable. So that is my mail time washi tape. I actually have two more. I only have one of them that's nearby though, so let me show that one to you real quick. This one is, I've been using this one for packaging, so I have it in a little dispenser. Let's see if I can take, whoops. <laughs> so it looks like this. It's the moon and clouds galaxy design and I have it also in a postcard on stationery and on uh, labels like address labels and now on washi tape so I have it on a little bit of everything so it kind of makes a full set I feel like I have it on something else too that I'm forgetting um, it is one of my most popular designs though but right now let's start packing some orders because I've got a lot of orders to do. Let's go. Okay. So I just had a call from my doctor, so it interrupted my <laughs> video, but I thought I would slow it down a little bit anyway, um, and just talk a little bit about the way I pack orders. Um, so you might have noticed that my envelopes, that I snipped something off of my envelopes, and if you've never received an order from me before, um, then you probably wouldn't notice on just the sped up video, but I make all of my envelopes and I sew them. And then, um, usually when I do it, I make it in a big batch. So I just leave the little strings hanging off. So I snip off the strings so that they don't get caught in like the mail machinery. <laughs> um, so yeah, everyone is pretty much different. Like when I get the combination of the envelope, the... Um, different address labels and everything. Um, I do put on the same stickers um, and you probably see off over to the side over here my stickers but I put my little um, 
not email address. What is that thing called? Website, web address. Um, I put that sticker on there and then I have my social medias on there. And then I made my little address label for the return address. And then somewhere on the package, sometimes inside, sometimes outside, I have the little Packaged with Love by Shasha, which I got that idea from um, Catnip Studios. She makes these for each one of the people who package orders in her shop, and I think that's so cute. And she drew little, um, a little illustration. Sorry, there's like the loudest vehicles going by right now. But yeah, anyway, I got that idea from her. So that's what those look like. And then usually somewhere, I also put one of my logo stickers. So that's what we've got there. And um, some orders I wrap either with just scrap paper, like these scraps come from making envelopes, or else I wrap them in tissue paper, which right now I'm still using up the wintry tissue paper, but it is still winter, so might as well. Um, and then it just kind of depends um, on what the order calls for. Sometimes it needs wrapped, sometimes it just needs a little cellophane protective package. But yeah, when you see me snipping, I'm snipping off the little extras on here. So... I am going to package this next order. This next one is from one of my lovely regular customers, which I appreciate so much. But this next one, let's see, we have 1, 2, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 items in this next order. So I'm going to start pulling some stuff out of the product box here. Go ahead and write my thank you note, and I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Um, just a little bit, though, not as not like the time lapse like we've been doing. So I'll see you guys back here in a few minutes. I'm back sitting here taking a little lunch break and I thought I would give you guys an update about the garage studio since I haven't been on for a while and I haven't talked about it really so there's actually been some other developments I guess in the house um and without getting a little bit too much into it I guess um I'm going to have an extra bedroom in the house and I think instead of spending all the money on converting the garage into like my studio, I would have, because I would have to like install carpet, do a ton of painting, put in electrical outlets, um, put in carpet, did I already say that? I don't know. Um, anyway, a lot of work and a lot of expense to do that, even though it would be a huge space. 
Um, I don't think I'm in the position right now to spend all of the money on it. Um, although eventually it might still, um, it might still be a thing that I do. But for now, because I'm going to have the spare bedroom, I am going to move over there. It's not a huge room because all of the rooms in my house are pretty small, but it's like about a 10 by 10 foot room. So that should be plenty of space just to like put all of my workspace around the perimeter and then use the closet for um, bulk storage for all of my packing supplies and um, like bulk merchandise that I've ordered. So instead of finishing out the garage series, I'm going to show you guys later what I do to turn the bedroom into my new studio. So that'll be like a much quicker process. It should just be like a one video thing, I do believe. But I'm excited about that because, oh, another thing about the garage is I would have had to figure out how to get heating and air conditioning out there. And so that would have even, that would have required like putting in an air conditioner unit or like cutting a hole in the wall to run the duct work out there. That would have been a big pain. Not going to do that now. Yay. And a plus side of that is now because you guys might have seen the big garage clean out in preparation for the garage studio. Now I can actually park in my garage like garages are actually meant, you know, meant for. <laughs> so that's great because every morning I am outside scraping frost off of my window right now um, because it's humid here in Missouri and it's cold. So, um, so I'm excited about that. Woohoo! Um, but yeah, all this stuff behind me here, you, I mean, you can't even see all of it and I would show you, but... I don't know if you can see this, but this is a good indication of what a mess it is back here in my studio because, like, literally on the floor, I have, like, I, I'm <laughs> looking down at it here if you wonder what I'm looking at, but I have, like, my padded envelopes, I have a big bag full of stuff that was going to be moved to the garage when I got the garage ready, then I've got, like, these, um drawers and cabinets full of supplies and merchandise and stuff and printers and paper like all sorts of like envelope making paper and then all of my art supplies back here and then over here I have my sewing machine and my actual desk and then I pile all my paperwork over there so there's a ton of like paperwork mess but and then here over on this side I have my cutting machines on a big storage shelf so all that's going to have to be moved. The good news is I'll have my bedroom back. I'm very excited about that. I'm going to actually turn it into a bedroom. So um, like a real bedroom instead of having a studio office space thingy with a bed in it basically is what I have right now. Okay, back to packaging orders. And then I need to get to work on restocking some Valentine's items. And I think I might make some red envelopes to list in the shop also, um, like Valentine envelopes. We'll see if I get to that though. Okay, I have all of my orders packaged and there's actually one that's not here because I went ahead and put it out for my mailman to get today. But let's see, I think I've been at it for about five hours now with a break in between and now it is time to put up all of my shipping stuff and my M&Ms <laughs> and get to work on making some more products because a lot of stuff sold out this weekend. So thank you guys for supporting me so much. That's like fantastic. And it makes me so happy. So it's time to take all of my 
orders down to the post office. I'm gonna take you guys with me, so let's go. so awkward <laughs> because yeah nobody films in public here and I was hoping that I would get in and get out with nobody seeing me but I did get this adorable postcard from uh, let's see from Illinois right outside of St. Louis it's a um it's a post crossing card. So, and it has a super cute little sticker on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm losing light here pretty fast. But anyway, super cute sticker, super cute postcard. Let me see if I can tell you who the postcard is from. By Little Clyde, Little C L Y D E, and it's called Tree Hugger Night Version. So cute. Okay, back home. It's cold. I should have worn a coat. It's cold and rainy, but here I am without a coat. Also, I wanted to do some shout outs um, on my channel here. So this one here is Catnip Illustrations, and she's out of the UK. She also has a YouTube channel. You can look for her. Um, just search Catnip, K-A-T-N-I-P-P. -P. But she is like my inspiration for starting my own shop like she is the cutest person ever she makes the cutest artwork and yeah I just think she's awesome I get so much inspiration from her I love watching her studio vlogs every week so there's just a little bit of her stuff another one sorry for the glare because I'm literally just filming my <laughs> computer screen um, but this one is Paper Treat Shop. This one's on Instagram. But she also has an actual shop, which I'll show you in just a second. But she sources her items from Japan. And she has the cutest things in her shop. And they're all, I think it says, let me, let me click on her thing so I don't get this wrong. I'll click on her shop here. Yeah, so shop. Look at this cute stuff. Animal buns. Oh, look at them. Anyway, if you're into like kawaii, Japanese, papery products, you have to go check out this shop. It is the cutest. Yeah, I'm gonna have to probably go ahead and go buy some stuff while I'm here right now. And the last shout out for this one is my sister, Ariel. So Ariel is like a real 
like college trained artist, okay? She is the real thing. And she makes also super adorable things. She has such a unique style. As you can see here, she makes a lot of like small art and ornament and print and even some stickers. And look, there she is. Isn't she the cutest? But on her Instagram, it's just Ariel, A-R-I-E-L-M-E-S-S-E-R-E-R, -E 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 Ariel Messer. And she has an Etsy shop as well, where she sells a lot of original artworks and even some like sticker print and that sort of thing. But go check her out. She is awesome. So in addition to those guys that I just shouted out, I wanted to shout out some studio vlogs because I love watching studio vlogs. And this is just a handful that I can remember right now. But if you guys have any recommendations, my dog keeps barking. Probably at a squirrel. Anyway, if you guys have any recommendations for studio vlogs I should check out, let me know in the comments. Um, some that I love to watch are, besides Catnip, who I just showed you guys, I also like to watch Emily Harvey, um, and I believe her channel is just called Emily Harvey Art. And then there's Apple Cheeks, also an illustrator, artist illustrator. Um, Cheyenne Barton, who is another artist slash illustrator. And the Mike James, or no, I think his username is it's it's the Mike James. Um, and he actually works for Catnip and runs his own multiple businesses, actually. Um, and he gives some really great advice for um, people who are just starting out YouTube channels and small businesses. So go check him out also. Um, yeah, but let me know in the comments, who do you like to watch? Um, and I think that since my dog is being loud, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up for now. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and a great end of January. Um, hopefully I'll see you again in a couple weeks, if not before. And have a lovely time. I love you guys. Mwah. Goodbye.